Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the tutelage.com and I have switched to Linux because I was having some problem with uh, Windows screencasting too and guys if you will see I have just changed some styling on this particular sign up form just in order to save some time let me show what is that first I have created two divs one is a div ID error and one is a div ID success where we are going to hold our error or success messages and in the style.css file I have you know gave the red color to the errors with some margin bottom and the green color to the success with same margin bottom and uh, to our actual edge 2 tag I have given the background color of blue with the text color of white some padding width and margin top left that's the only changes I have made so I will start with our PHP again first uh, I'm going to target those people who are not interested to learn Ajax and what the people can do is instead of uh, using the echo they can put the errors inside a variable so I can say all the errors would be equal to a variable called error and our actual success message would be equal to the success variable okay and if I'll come out here I can say PHP if is it dollar error okay if there is an error okay then only we'll go and run this particular code uh, I'm going to say echo dollar error okay very nice and simple so if you guys will come back it's unexpected error yeah. this is the unexpected error so if I hit submit it shows here on the top please fill in all the required field that means your user will not have to go to any different page and they will just find the errors just on the top here okay that is something with PHP and you can also say PHP if is set dollar uh, success if there is a success then you know just echo the success message echo dollar success so if they would be able to sign up properly they will get subscribed sub successfully on the top okay same error here so if I enter the name called zombie and the zombie at the rich it says successfully subscribe come to the database it shows a zombie out here so that means you are sh uh, doing everything on the same page not on a different page and uh, now let me teach you guys how to use Ajax in order to do everything without a page refresh so I'm just going to take these if I set everything off and I will keep the devs clean and simple and I'll also take the form tags off because we would be submitting this with Ajax so we don't need any form and uh, I'm going to say on click run a function call validate that means whenever this uh, particular button will get clicked it will run a function which is known as validate one more thing we need to do is we have to put it back to echo instead of variables so I'm going to say echo and we have to take this submit button function off because guys uh, there won't be any submit press directly for PHP we would be doing it with Ajax so we only have to say if a dollar underscore post okay come back here in the head tag I'm going to open the JavaScript tags I'm going to say script and here would be the ending of script guys if you have no knowledge about JavaScript then I believe it would be really hard for you to understand it otherwise Ajax is not really uh, very much complex so I'm going to say function validate that will only get run once we will hit the submit button I'm going to say if window dot XML HTTP request if there is a request from the server which is in the form of XML HTTP then do one thing create a variable you can give it any name I'm going to say XML HTTP and that would be equal to the request we are getting so window dot XMO HTTP request and guys everything is case sensitive so 
make sure you are entering right otherwise it will not work for you and uh, if the request is not equal to windows.xmlhttp request then we have to do something else that is xmlhttp equal to uh, new active x object that is for ie guys because you know like microsoft always have been an exception so we have to do some exceptions for them then i'm going to say xml http okay like this yep i think it's correct then i'm going to say xml http dot on ready state change run a function okay if uh, this particular variable is ready to change its state that means if it's getting something from the server or if it's posting something back to the server then run this particular function then i'm going to make a check if xml http dot uh, ready state i believe yep ready state is equal to equal to four and xml http dot uh, status i believe status is equal to equal to 200 then go ahead and do whatever we want that means we are making a check if the data is coming in the right way from the server that only perform these functions otherwise do not do anything first we need to get our error id so i'm going to say document dot get element by id that would be equal to error so get the id which has a name of error and whatever inside it get the inner html and uh, keep it equal to our variable response text whatever response is coming from the server keep it equal to that uh, i believe that is all for this now we just need the variables we want to pass pass so i'm going to say name equal to document dot get element by id name and the email variable will be equal to document dot get element by id email Okay, so whatever value we have inside the, the name and the email field, get uh, all those values. Again, guys, if you are not a JavaScript person, I'm telling you it's really hard for you to get it. But if you have a bit of JavaScript knowledge, you can easily understand it. But uh, I don't think I have uh, enough time to tell you guys how Ajax or JavaScript work. It's not a JavaScript tutorial. And... Uh, I believe uh, that is done now I'm gonna create another variable that would be parameters okay and that is going to actually pass everything from our this file to our PHP file so I'm going to say name is equal to name plus and email is equal to plus email okay and then we need uh, some XML HTTP like the Ajax functions to send. So I'm going to say open. The way you are going to pass uh, the variables would be the post method. The file you need to target is script slash uh, sign up script dot PHP and set it equal to true. And then I'm going to say XML HTTP dot set request. Okay, R need to be capital request header. And then let me memorize what we need to pass. I believe it would be the content type first. Content type. After that, uh, we need the application. application slash x www form and the url encoded i believe 
because uh, it has been long time I'm not using Ajax okay and in the last we will have to send everything we have made so XML HTTP send the parameters and guys I'm 120 percent sure at least I will get one or two errors so don't worry we can fix them later oh no not even a single error come on okay but that was not with Ajax actually yep that is with Ajax now guys if you will see see here there is not a page refresh so if you say name equal to zombie again and crap let's see there is not any page refresh it's happening very very instantly without the page refresh and there is one problem guys see if I'll enter the email ID I've hit submit it shows the successfully subscribed thing in the red color that is something we have to fix first so here I'm going to say if XML HTTP dot response text is equal to successfully subscribed that we have used here that means if you know the response is coming and it is equal to this particular string then show that in the success div otherwise show it in the red div just see here here I'm going to say success and then I'm going to put an else value else it will go to the I think I need two I'm not sure if I did something crap okay if I hit submit there is an error it says XML HTTP successfully submit setting a property that has only a getter not a giver let me see guys if xml dot http response test is equals to equals to this then do this else and that if statement i believe it will work fine now yep i believe it should let's see it's in green color now so we are not doing a new page refresh it's happening very instantly and uh, guys this is the way we run ajax if you want you can use jquery too but i'm happy with ajax so see you guys next time